have a look at the status of my UK makeups. Uh, I think this is a small jewelry box I need to go through as well. That's my nail box, my brushes. Oh my God. My husband literally just took the entire stand and just left it like this. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I will have to go through all of this, including here, and here, and on the desk, over here. The lighting isn't so good, so uh, let's move them to the other room. You guys can see different background. Yes, I am back to UK. Uh, if you already follow me for a while, you know what I'm talking about. If you are new here, let me just quickly fill you in. First of all, welcome. I went back to China with my daughter and my husband just planned for a short visit back in 2020. However, the pandemic started and myself and my daughter stayed in China for just under four years and finally we are united again Bye. i don't actually know where to start and uh, i may have to do a episode two <laughs> um that may go through the palettes i've got this just part of it considering i wasn't a makeup youtuber and I just realized that how many makeup I actually own. <laughs> Let's go through those palettes first. Oh, this one is very, very hyper. A few years back, it is from NYX. Next. And uh, this is the USP03 Warm Neutrals. Those color combinations would still be a popular collections nowadays. Look at this color. You actually see the pan. Ooh, the powder is still creamy. Look, this is still a very pretty. The powder quality is still really good. Uh, this is the Too Faced chocolate palettes. This again was very, very hyper. I still didn't like the smell. This is a NARS uh the face palettes back in the days but i took the pan out which i used the most put it into a magnetic ooh, in here so this and this are actually from nars's palettes those are used the most oh this one oh anyone remember this Physician's formula, I think, called. You know the, the coconut bronzer? Very, very popular. I think it's a still a very, very nice bronzer. At your house, this one is called a Warm Tone Eyes. I don't recommend this one. Although it seems like quite a lot of colors, but if you really look into the details, they all too similar to be used on the eyes. When you try to mix with different type of like eyeshadows, once you finish it, you feel like, oh, this looks similar like what I've done yesterday. Oh, this is a nice one that is very hyper. Natasha Denona's Modern Renaissance. Look, you see, hit the pan. Oh, this is Natasha Denona's one is very, very nice and I use it quite a lot considering I was working in a hotel in a corporate. We were not allowed like, too colorful or full on makeups, but you are encouraged to put a natural daily look. It is actually can achieve very natural look. Oh, look at this. Zoeva, who didn't own those three palettes back days? Look at that! The first one is more towards cool tone. The rest, the two, uh, especially the one in the middle, are more warmer tone. I'm not sure if I can still use it. Oh, this this one got a little bit of patchy. And 
Huda Beauties. This was a very popular palette. I think would still be popular now. It has, it is mold. I don't know why it has mold here. But I really like their shimmer colors. It's still so nice. Look. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, Hourglass, this one. I highly, highly recommend their ambient powder. If you are a little bit suffer from big pores, the texture on the skin itself, but you like to have a general glow, like beautiful, healthy skin glow, you are a little bit hesitate of using highlighter, Hourglass, the ambient powder is your choice. This one, can you see the difference? This is my actual skin reflection and this is with the powder. It gives you a very gentle, subtle reflection, but doesn't emphasize your skin texture. So when you tilt at your face, this powder still catches the lights, but look very, very healthy skin finish. Oh, my lovely by Terry. Oh, it's been crushed. This is a very, very good palette. If you are similar eye shape as mine and you after some high end palettes which contains more than four colors quads by Terry, this one I highly, highly recommend. This one can give you a very, how to say, um, structure finished eye look. This one, the magic is not about the colors. Colors is not a colorful palette, but it's about the individual colors that how they can actually work together to deliver a look like a professional finished eye look. Uh, this one is by Terry Eye Designer Palette Number One, Smoky Nude. Maybelline, this is Maybelline's as well, their nude collection. Good value for money. The powder quality is really good. Look, you know, after being set on my desk for four years, still give you this performance. And it is Maybelline. Very, very affordable. I think it deserves applause. This is the Pony Effect uh, Cushion SPF 50 Plus PA3 Plus. I think I liked it before. Is because I didn't try as many cushion foundations as I've done in this past year, especially when I discovered like Floris's cushion foundations. And I actually did a My Cushion Foundations collection review. If you haven't seen that one, jump to this one. And now if you ask my feedback for this, I would say this is very, very average. The last thing for me is mediocre about four hours then you definitely need a touch up i wouldn't say it's a bad one it is a standard performance for me but i like it, it contains spfs and pa this miniature i hope it still can use is the nars orgasm blush it's so popular back in days it's so so popular i think it's still a very very nice blush color but for my liking, you see the beautiful reflection. But for current, like my liking now, this could be a little bit too towards like a goldy sheen on top, mixed with the peach undertone. Uh, I think I will still use it. I think I can still use it. Anyway, um, it looks all right on the skin. But I think my preference just changed, but it's so popular back days. And also with Tarte blushes, Tarte blushes was kind of like a no brainer before. Their blush quality was really good.
as I haven't used them for a while. So with Tarte's blush, you've got to be a little bit careful as the pigment is quite high. It's higher than standard one, for example, like this Lumina pink one. I think I bought this as a set, so it's come with like three. I actually prefer this one, as you can tell why. But have a look at this color, it's over here. I think all you already can actually use as an eyeshadow. This one is actually nicer. This one is more daily use in a way, but uh, more towards like a cute type of pink you see this one. Oh, oh, benefits this uh, I got the miniature I think I got a full size one can't I can't see where I kept it benefit this one is a very very old brother and is still very very good it's very natural subtle not too goldy too champagne too yellowy, neither too pink. It's right sit in the middle and merge into your skin so well, so well. Oh, this powder is the Revolution's Banana Powder. Anyone remember this? The powder itself is really fine. The blurring effect is top notch, but the color is, oh, you don't, you won't really see on my hand, but when I actually, rem I remember that when I use it on the face, it, it turns yellowy. Bare Mineral, very famous, the powder. I know lots of you loved it. I still find a way of using it. Uh, of course, I myself, my favorite one is the Floris's the tinted powder, which is the pressed one. I find that type of powder used with a puff apply on the face is easier compared to a loose powder like this. This is also a benefit. I think this is the blush. I quite actually like it. It's more peachy and sun-kissed finish. It's very, very nice color for summertime. This is a nice color. Maloney's blush. This was, uh, again, I think I bought this because of Kathleen Light. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of her videos. Oh, Maloney was, oh, I think is still very popular. This is very nice color, but has like a sheen on top. Uh, what's this? Kiko losing this invisible powder. Don't go for this one. Go for their more recent baked powder. That one, top notch. Absolutely top notch. In here, I still got eyeliners. This one is Remo, this one is Maybelline, and this one is Bonjour. Maybelline's one for me is not smudge proof. Rimmel's one neither smudge proof. I just find the eyeliner, I don't know why. I think it just, we all have different eyelid. It just, the Western brand, you see those are three are brand new. And I think Bonjour's one is not bad. And now look. Steel, right? This container, majority are my lipsticks foundations concealers everything okay i'm going to highlight my favorite foundation before which is from dior uh forever this one and my color i think uh, i used to have 10 and this one is 20. i finished the bottle this was my second bottle I really, really like this one. I don't know whether they change the ingredients or anything or not. I haven't used the back since, but I think I will repurchase this one. And also the ores, this was very hyper back then, is their Air Flash, uh, what's it called? Air Flash Foundation. Do you guys remember? My color is 100. This one is like a spray. You know, it's like a tan spray. I don't know. I don't know whether. Oh, oh, 
Oh, they're still a little bit cold. And when you smudge out, it's, it gives you like a little bit of mousse texture when you first touching it and then gradually spread out just like a foundation. Compare this to, I prefer this. Oh, it's very dirty. Oh. Who remember this? What hourglass foundation stick. Um, it is very creamy and I seen a lot of people using brush myself prefer to use a sponge um, the coverage is really high but even I'm combined oily skin I still feel this one is a little bit like glue thick for me pony effect this foundation I won't recommend Estee Lauder's primer this one is really good this is one of my very first Burberry uh, lipstick. Why I buy? Why I bought this? Look, it's it's definitely not my cup of tea. It's, it's a little bit too Barbie pink. Oh, those two are years. I think six, seven years. They're from Bonjour. It's their eyeshadow. Here are my eyeliners, mascaras. This too, I highly recommend from By Terry. They are cream eyeshadows. These two colors are really nice, four and a five. When you look from the swatches, you may not get how high class this color can actually become on your eyes. I think this is definitely expired. If you look at the fresh number five, it is more has a purple undertones. You can use it as a base color. You can actually just use on its own to finish an entire eye look. And it also has a good, you see, beautiful reflection. And this is number four. Once it's expired, it's showing more silver glitter on top, but it's actually supposed to be brown. Yeah, more like this brown color. Any of you back days remember this at your house? Very very juicy orangey. It was so hyper, and so many YouTubers were highly recommending this one. I think I got this one because of um, Hello Kitty, and I used to love it. But now when I look back, I think this is more young generations. Now I would actually <laughs> a little bit hesitant of using some you know oranges like this. My all-time favorite, but I haven't used for a very, very long time, which is Kevin O'Quan's The Duo. Here's for the highlight. Here is the same color as their sculpture color. L'Oreal palette. I don't know why I bought this one. My Charlotte Tilbury. I use this quite often, especially if I need to attend the event and want my eyes look simple but elegant. This is one of the palettes that I normally go for. People, I even got the H&M lipstick. <laughs> why? Oh, okay, I know why. This was in the time that I was looking for the perfect nude for myself. This is not, this is definitely not my perfect nude, but uh, it's actually, I think it's a little bit too light. This is the Lancome 343. Similar, hey? <laughs> my previous nude, which is L'Oreal, it's called the Nude Gold. <laughs> Are they not the same? Very, very similar. Here are the things even older than four years. This is the Dior palette that I bought at the Duty Free Heathrow almost 10 years ago. Almost. This is type of typical palette that looks practical but is not. Oh, my old days, Colourpop. This color is uh, 18A5, Winnie. This was from Kathleen Light again. I think it was one of the collab with her. This 
if I remember correctly, this is my second winnie. Of course, it's almost dry, almost. Very nice color. Oh, my old friend. <laughs> I think, I don't think you guys can get it now. It's from a cosmetics, the Kabuki brush. Oh, it's still nice. Oh, new brush. You guys definitely recognize this. <gasps> Let me see if it still can be used. It's expired on November 2020. Oh, this is from Physician's Formula. This is the lovely, what's it called? Nude Wear Blush. Again, back days. The powder is still good, but definitely expired because those four colors are not really merging on the skin anymore. Oh, this one as well called the Laura Gala. This is one of their, look, uh, contour color, contour powder. At least I used to use. Oh, oh certainly it's gone. I can't even get that out now. Uh, this one is less bronzy. It's still more towards a warm tone, contour, but it's less bronzy. I do have a memory of it, but uh, it's a very bulky and a wooden cover. It's a highlighter? Did I read it right? Oh yeah, it is. The powder is everywhere, but it's nice highlighter. It's very subtle. Healthy glow type of highlighter. Real Techniques brush. I used to be a big fan of Real Techniques. Oh, here we go. You see, I knew I got a big one. This one, I haven't even opened it. It's from Uni Club. This is their mascara, yes. It seems still okay to use. Okay, I keep this one then. Oh, by the way, I bought... Uh, hang on, let me grab it. I brought this one with me. Natasha Dinona's new. I need a nude palette. I've seen so many reviews already uh, available on YouTube. I don't know whether you guys see. I haven't even opened it myself. Oh, wow. As there are so many reviews already available, uh, just a quick question. Will you guys still want me to do a review and do a like simple tutorial with you guys? If you are interested, please do leave your comments down below. I will do a separate video just for this palette. If there are other makeup items, beauty items or particular brand you want me to test out and do a review with you guys, please, please do leave your message down below. I always, always read them all. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I will have more videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on my next one.